welcome back to Aloha Jen's Beauty Blog. For those of you that are new here, hi! My name is Jen and I am a licensed esthetician in the state of California. Welcome to my April favorites video. Well, in this video, what you're going to notice more so than usual is I have a lot of skincare favorites this month. And that being is that I've been testing some new skincare, as you guys know, if you've been following along my spring reset series. And <clears throat> I started testing a couple of new lines that I've absolutely fallen in love with. I'm going to share some absolute favorites with you today. All right, some of them may be repeats and you have seen in um, my other favorites video, but as you know, if you're seeing them again, it means they're definitely a favorite. So first off, I wanna go into body. I have about four body products here that I wanna talk about, or I think it's five. The first one is, this is an intimate cleanser from Love Wellness. It's called pH Balancing Cleanser. It is fragrance-free and non-irritating. Here it is. This is a wonderful intimate wash. This is for your lady parts. <laughs> so this is about, let's see, how many ounces is it? It's five ounces, and depending on where you get it, it can run you anywhere from $11.95 to $14.95. I believe at Target, it's $14.99. I also carry it at Ulta.com, and then if you order it directly from Love Wellness, you can get it a little bit cheaper. So I have been testing this out for the month of April, now into May as well, and I have been absolutely loving it. So this is a great alternative for those of you who find um, the Lady Sweet Cleanser doesn't work out for you or it's a little bit expensive. So my personal favorite for an intimate cleanser is the Lady Sweet. And um, that one, it's like 3.5 ounces for like $16.95. It's expensive and you go through it pretty fast. For me personally, I use about two of those a month. This is a little bit more, it's a little bit more affordable. It has no fragrance whatsoever in it. Check out the ingredients if it's right for you, but I have been loving it. So it's a great alternative to the Lady Sweet. And for me, I don't like products that have fragrance in that delicate area because my skin is sensitive and products with scent in them really irritate my lady parts. Now, next thing, from the body line is the Naturium line. So as you, I think I mentioned this in my um, last favorites video, is that my friend gave me a sample of the Naturium. This is the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash, and I fell in love with it, so I ordered some of their body products. So I ordered a full size of the Glow Getter Multi Oil Body Wash. It only comes in one size, by the way, which is 16.9 ounces, and it's only $16. Their body care is really affordable and it's effective, and some of the items can be found at Target too. The other body wash I ordered was the Multivitamin Daily Nutrients Body Wash. I love both of these body washes. They're both great. This one is a little bit more moisturizing than this one. Now the next one, well, I'm gonna place an order soon as I wanna try the glycolic body wash. I figured that would be a good one to use on my skin for some exfoliation with my exfoliating gloves. But so, so good. If you guys haven't tried the body products from Naturium, I highly recommend that you look into this line for your body products. Effective and affordable, as we all know, the body area is such a large area and to be spending, you know, so much money on your body products to treat that skin is not feasible for a lot of us. Like we can't spend a hundred dollars a month on a body cream or, you know, $50 a month on a body wash. So the next product I have here is their skin renewing retinol body lotion. This is an evening moisturizer. I love this. So, and I also love their BioLipted Restoring Body Lotion. What I love about both of these is they both absorb completely into your skin without leaving your skin feel greasy, and you could put your pants on right after. Now, the Retinol Body Lotion is something that you would use in the evening because it does contain retinol and it will make your skin photosensitive. So you want to make sure 
that you are wearing SPF on your body skin if you're gonna be exposed to the sun while using this. So in the summertime, it might not be such a great idea, but you know, I'll let you be the ju judge of that. This is so much better than the Versed one. The Versed one, it takes forever for that to absorb into the skin. And I don't find that it's really moisturizing at all. It actually kind of dries out my skin, but I love what it does for my skin. This is like 10 times better. So this is a favorite. I will always keep it in my routine. And I will use it like about every other time, every other night or three days a week. I don't use this every evening because it becomes too much for my skin and it really dries it out and then I get irritated. So just be, be aware this is, you know, has the same effect on your body skin as it does on your facial skin. Now, this has become my everyday moisturizer. This is the BioLifted Restoring Body Lotion. I love this lotion. And these products that I've been talking about from Natrium are all fragrance-free, by the way. Most of their body care is fragrance free, which I love because my body skin is sensitive to uh, products that have a high scent profile. And that's what I love about this is it doesn't interfere with any other scent I'm wearing, like perfume or fragrance. So this is really, really good. This gives me the perfect amount of body moisture without my skin you know, feeling greasy, it doesn't feel heavy, it's very light, it absorbs into the skin, it gives your skin a really nice glow. Love, love, love. And again, like I said, I would highly recommend checking out their body products. They're pretty affordable. I know Target carries most of the body products except for their retinol lotion. So if it's easier for you to pick it up at Target, then I would suggest looking into it. When I ordered those, I ordered them directly from Naturium and it took them about a week to get here because their, their distribution is actually in New Jersey. Now I have one hair product I'm going to talk to you guys about. Yeah, just one. <laughs> so um, if you saw my Sephora recommendations video, uh, sorry, Nisha's in here and she's distracting me. <laughs> I mentioned that I picked up the K18. Um, this is their Molecular Repair Hair Oil. So I have been really enjoying this on my hair. I do like it, but I wouldn't say I love it. For one, the scent is kind of weird. It kind of has like this weird after scent to it. It's kind of hard for me to describe, but I don't know. It just smells, smells kind of weird. And because that scent, I, I don't really like it. I kind of like can smell it more so when it's in my hair versus what somebody else can smell. I like what it does to my hair, but I love the Virtue Healing Oil better than the K18. And I also, and I also, also I find that the healing oil is a little bit cheaper than the K18, but you know, it is different technology, but I just love what the Virtue Healing Oil does for my hair versus the K18. Others might feel differently, but I mean, it's nice, but you have to keep in mind this is $65, and do you think it's worth spending $65? Because I don't notice that this is doing anything different to my hair versus the Virtue Healing Oil, and it's also bigger and cheaper. So. It's nice. I like it. Would I repurchase it? Probably not. Okay. So that is a like. We only have one fail in this video too, by the way. For makeup, all my favorites for makeup are the same as what they were last month. Um, I love my Lawless Lavender One Palette. I'm wearing it today. I have a different look um, with it today that I created. Something a little bit more on the neutral side. I love my Charlotte Tilbury um, matte beauty blush wand. So my makeup is all the same. The Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum is the only foundation that I've been wearing on my skin. I love it so much, especially if I'm wearing my mineral sunscreen. It really has, it really helps keep my skin from getting, you know, dry or dehydrated from my mineral sunscreen because zinc and mineral sunscreens tend to really like suck the moisture and hydration out of my skin. And that rose ink skin enhance luminous tinted 
um, serum does a really great job of keeping my skin hydrated and it looks really fresh. And I just throw on my mineral, my Color Science Mineral um, Powder Sunscreen over my skin to reapply. And the Rose Ink Skin Enhanced Luminous Tinted Serum, <laughs> such a long name, um, works out great. Now, I actually have two fails in this video. So I'll tell you what the other two fail, what the two fails are at the end. So, I have been searching for a new concealer because the one that I was using um, just wasn't working out for me anymore. And I'll tell you the reason why, because it's gonna be a fail, which I'll explain it at the end of this video. So I was at Sephora testing some concealers and I found the LYS brand, okay? This concealer is so good. It's called the Triple Fix Full Coverage Brightening Concealer. It has hyaluronic acid, turmeric, and ashwanga. So this I love because it's like a matte formulation, but the formula is really light. It blends well onto the skin. It covers really nicely. They call it a full coverage concealer, but it kind of is now that I've been playing with it. But the thing is, it's not like thick, or heavy, it's very light and it looks so skin-like. It's only $19. Now, the one thing with this concealer is they have so many shades and it's really tough to find your shade because they have like five different medium neutrals. And when I was online, like the pictures really didn't help me. So not all Sephora's carry the full range of this brand and the concealers, they only carry a few. And that's how I discovered it. I picked up, um, what is it? I picked up a light neutral number three. I tested it on my hand. It seemed like it was going to be, you know, the right color, but it was actually way too light. And it just looked like my under eyes were just like popping way too much. So I'm going to return that shade. And I went online and I, or I ended up ordering three medium shades because I couldn't tell the difference of which one would be great for me. Well, when I get them, you know, in person, um, two, is it two? One of the medium shades is absolutely way too dark and then two actually works. So what I'm using right now underneath my eyes is medium neutral one. And then for my face, I'm using medium neutral number three. I like my concealer underneath my eyes to be a little bit brighter than what's on my face, but they both work really great. Um, you know, maybe in the summertime when I get a little bit more color on my skin, I'll have to switch to the medium neutral number three underneath my eyes. I don't know, but this formula is so good. It just like makes your under eye look so good, so hydrated. It's not enhancing any of the hollows because it's a matte formulation, matte satin matte, I would say. But I love that because as you guys have heard me mention is that I was watching a makeup artist doing makeup on someone who had really dark circles and hollows and they mentioned to stay away from luminous radiant concealers because it would enhance that hollowness. You know, they say that those light reflecting properties are supposed to detract the light to take away from those hollows or skin imperfections. And I find it does more, um, it enhances those more. And um, so I tested it out and boy, were they ever right. So definitely, you know, if you're looking for a concealer, if you have dark circles, if you have under eye hollows, I highly recommend a matte um, formulation, a satin matte or a matte formulation. It works so much better underneath the eyes. And you can't like see that I have hollows really. It just like, looks great. It's like the light is just like bouncing right off of it. So this is a great formula. I absolutely love, love, love. Now, if you're having trouble with finding the right color for you, you might want to go to LYS's uh, website and see if they can help you shade match um, before you like order four of them and you know, you have to return two of them, which would create less waste. Um, and be better for the company sustainability wise. Now, this isn't a makeup product, but this is the last 
alas, a lash enhancing serum. So this is the Olaplex Lash Bond Building Serum. So I picked this up and I actually really, really like it. I like it more so than I thought I was going to. So this isn't an eyelash serum that's going to make your lashes get super long and crazy like some of those other ones out there. And that's what I was looking for because when I've used those in the past, it's like my lashes get really long, get really crazy, and then when I stop using it, they all fall out, and then my lashes look like crap after. This has really brought back the fullness of my lashes, and they are getting a little bit longer, but nothing wild and crazy. Now, I've only been using this for, I think, almost a month now. Yeah, I think it's almost been a month now. And I just really love what it's doing for my lashes. It's doing exactly what I was looking for. So we'll continue on to see what happens with this, but I really have been enjoying it. Now, this one, they say you apply twice a day, you know, on fresh, clean lashes. And yeah, I've been doing it and yeah, it's working really great. So it's definitely worth looking into. It's about $68 for a 98 supply versus $100 like some of them out there. So enjoying it. All right, so that's it for that. So I'm going to go into skincare now. So let's go over some of my absolute favorites and what I've been loving. So if you've been following along with my spring reset series, you guys know that I have been falling in love with the Neogenesis skincare line. So what I have currently from their line is their cleanser. I love this cleanser. It's a nice gel formula that doesn't lather up like a traditional gel cleanser. It's very gentle on the skin. It's hydrating. I don't experience any dryness or irritation with this cleanser. I absolutely love it. I have been using this in the morning as my first cleanse and then in the evening as a second cleanse. Now, when I do red LED light therapy, I don't use this. I've been using the Mysama Gel Balm Cleanser followed by the Mysama Green Ravos Press Serum. But on the days when I'm not doing my red LED light therapy, I have been using this cleanser and I love it. I love it so much. I ordered another bottle. <laughs> so this is really, really great. So if you're someone who has really sensitive skin, I would definitely recommend checking the ingredients in here. It's very simple and it's very, very good. It does not um, dry out my skin. I just really, really love it. It makes my skin feel really nice and soft and hydrated and bouncy, so love. Now, another favorite is their Moisturizing Mist. So this is their um, Hydrating Toner. And if you've been following along in my Spring Reset series and you see me use this, I've been often using this for my Pico Toner um, treatment. And I go through a lot of this. I love this. Like, this is amazing. I spray it, you know, on my skin in the morning to mix in with my serums and in the evenings to penetrate my serums. I'll spray it throughout the day. I love to use it with my microcurrent treatment. It is a love. It's so hydrating. And like I said before, I wish I would have had this in the winter time. It's so good. And I'll, I'll tell you something in a second. But <clears throat> next thing is I have been loving the Neogenesis Conductive Gel. This is a nice, simple formula with not very many ingredients. If you are someone who has sensitive skin and you're having a hard time finding the right conductive gel for your skin, I would highly recommend giving the Neogenesis Conductive Gel a chance. So this is four point, um, four point or four ounces, and it's gonna run you like, uh, what is it? Like, I think it's like 28 or $29, so it's not too bad, but I have been loving it. This has been my go-to conductive gel. This is not a leave-on formula, it is a wipe-off formula. Now, for me, I always wipe off my conductive gel. I never leave it on my skin, especially if I'm going to put my skincare on underneath. I wanna follow through with my serums and then my moisturizer and SPF if needed. And if I already have a conductive gel on my skin, 
and I leave it on, it's going to hinder those serums from penetrating my skin, especially the ones that I can't use with like microcurrent. So love, love, love. And now I, um, stopped using my Osmo system factory because I just really wasn't noticing any results in my skin. And I switched over to the Neogenesis recovery. So this is a stem cell molecule serum. This helps repair, regenerate, and prevent. So, and I switched over to this one because a lot of people were saying how much they love this and how effective it is and the great changes that they were experiencing in their skin. So, you know, you can use this after microneedling, you can use this after procedures. I used it last night after my dermatis treatment. Sometimes I'll throw it underneath my microcurrent gel. But a lot of people were saying that they've seen an improvement in their fine lines and wrinkles with this and it's helped them prevent from getting them getting deeper or getting more. And I've been using this morning and evening and I absolutely love it. And for the longest time, I absolutely refuse to pay the price of this, but it is worth it. Um, it is amazing. And for those of you to where this is out of your price range, I would suggest looking into the skin uh, serum because that one is really, really good too. And this one, you know, I absolutely love it and what it's doing for my skin. I'm going to try to keep up using it, but I'm not sure if I can because it is pretty expensive, but I love it so much. And what I'm thinking about doing is maybe just switching this up and using it at night versus during the day, maybe incorporate, um, well, use this during the day. Now, I just ordered the skin serum so I can test that out for you guys as soon as this one is done um, so I can really compare the difference, but I've tried the skin serum after my dermatist treatment. I love to use it underneath my Neogenesis Glide, oops, I can't find it, conductive gel for when I'm performing microcurrent. I just love it so much and this is so good too. So for those of you who this is out of your price range, I would definitely look into the skin serum. It's a little bit more affordable and it's 100% better than the Osmo System Factor. So love, love that. And then I've also been testing the Neogenesis Eye Serum. So this says brighten and tighten. It also helps with under um, or uh, creepiness of the eyes. So I picked this up because just using an eye cream alone wasn't cutting it for my eyes. I need more, I need double duty. And this is what happens as we get older is our skin requires more. And sometimes we do have to use two eye products, like an eye serum and an eye cream. So I picked up the Neogenesis um, eye serum to test it out and I absolutely love it. A little bit goes a long way. Now, I would say the one thing I do not like about this product is the packaging. I don't understand why they did this. This is only 10 um, mLs. A little bit of this goes a long way. It's going to last you for a while. I would just say if you wanted to try this and, you know, it's going to come in this package, is there is a locking mechanism, you, um, you know, righty-tighty, lefty-loosey. So what you do is you just meter it out. Um, and you just press this gently so you get a little bit out because if you go full force, you're going to get a full pump and it's probably going to be too much for your eye area. So it is a love and I will continue to use that and it will probably most likely be a repurchase. And that is it for my Neogenesis products, which leads me into the other things. So I just recently placed an order for Neogenesis. I ordered the skin serum the moisturizing mist another bottle i can't be without that the glide gel their cleanser i also yeah that oh um their barrier renewal cream i ordered that because i love that especially after my dermatist treatment i ordered the intensive moisturizer and i ordered the light moisturizer and i have been testing the botnia restorative face cream now I love this face cream and I am trying to decide on whether it's going to be between this or a Neogenesis moisturizer. Now, 
I love the Botnia Restorative Face Cream. It's doing great things for my skin. It's been a favorite since the first time I picked it up. And if you're wondering why I'm switching up my moisturizers, because I wanna try the Neogenesis moisturizers as well, so I can give you guys feedback on which one ends up being my favorite. But I have a feeling that this one will definitely be a repurchase in the future because I absolutely love what it's doing for my skin. Now, I've been using this as my daytime moisturizer and sometimes I do use it as my evening moisturizer. I got this in um, the Botnia, I think it's the Hydrate Me kit and it's a one ounce deluxe size of it. Um, and it's been great to test. It's like the perfect amount to test so you get a feel of the product. The one thing I will tell you is that this does have a rose scent to it and it does linger on the skin. But however, I have not had any issues with the Botnia products causing any inflammation or irritation in my skin. Some of the products do contain essential oils and some of them contain hydrosols or distillates, okay? But the way they formulate their products is absolutely perfect. It's a beautiful formulation. I love this cream. It's doing great things for my skin. And then for those of you who love natural and organic products and you're looking for a line that is effective with a semi-affordable price range, I highly recommend looking into the Botnia line. Now, I have been pointing this out because I know a lot of you here are skincare enthusiasts and collectors. And with the Botnia line, the products, you know, when you get them, you have to use them because they're best if you use them fresh. So when you're testing the, when you are picking up your Botnia products, pick them up with the intentions that you're going to use right away. These aren't meant to be like tucked away in a corner and, you know, used whenever you feel like it, except for you can with their masks, like their powder masks last a year, but some of these other products only last like, you know, six months. Um, eight months. So you just want to be careful and be mindful of that because I'd hate for you to pick these up and, you know, it go bad on you and you waste your money. So, you know, purchase these products with the intentions of using now. And that's what led me to testing some of these products that I'm going to share with you in my everyday skincare because I don't want to waste them. I want to make sure that I use them. So Restorative Face Cream, definitely still love from if you saw my skincare um, routine video. I'm also still loving their hydrating serum. This is one of the most hydrating serums I've ever used. It is like a gel serum. It's very like cushy and it makes your skin look so nice and plump and juicy and it pairs well under the restorative face cream. The next product here I've been testing in my everyday skincare routine is their eye cream. So this eye cream I have been enjoying. I have been using it over the Neogenesis skin cream. Now, depending, or not skin cream, but I've been using it over the eye serum. Now, I will tell you with this eye cream, it takes a little bit for you to work into the skin. But once you work it in, it just makes your skin look so good. It makes the under eye look so nice and hydrated. It feels cushy and comforted. It gives the perfect amount of hydration into the skin and brings back some bounciness and life to the skin. It makes the skin just look so smooth. And I noticed that in the, underneath my eyes as well. So here it is my concealer applies really lovely over it too but it just really brightens up the eye area really really nicely now i will tell you um with this ice this eye cream there is a fragrance to it it is rose distillate so if you do not like your eye products to have any sort of scent to them because they you find them irritating um to your eyes in general you will not like this eye cream, but I haven't had any issues with it and I've been enjoying it. And it's not really a favorite yet, 
but it's a definite like. Now, will I repurchase this? I'm not so sure. I need more time with this. I mean, it does make my skin feel really, really good, but I just feel like I need more time and I will probably have an answer for you um, next month. <laughs> All right, so, and if you're like curious about the Botnia line and where you should start is, I would suggest starting out with one of my absolute favorite products is the Essential Enzymes. These are amazing. So the Essential Enzymes, you can use as a face mask, you can use it as a second cleanse, you can use it as a mixing medium for one of their powdered masks. This product is so good, I love it, it's an absolute favorite. It will always be in my arsenal, that is how much I love it. Um, you know, another product that I absolutely love, which I, you know, you guys know, is I love their renewing face wash. So I use this about one or two times a week. Um, this is a great cleanser because it's it's not drying, but there's some exfoliating properties in here because it contains lactic acid. There's some green tea in here. This cleanser was you know mainly made for um, those who have acne, but they also recommend it for like anti-aging too because we need to exfoliate our skin in order for some of our serums like the Neogenesis recovery to work better. But I just love this formulation. So it's a foam cleanser and the foam, it just like when you apply it, it's just like it melts into your skin. There's no lather to it. And it gives you a really nice exfoliation without drying your skin. Now, if I use this every day, it would dry out my skin. I use it a couple times a week. Sometimes I like to use this before I shave my face and I always use it when I do my dermatist treatment. So I used it last night. I also like this to cleanse my ears. So I know like, it's so funny, I'm always looking for this. What do people clean their ears with? Because, you know, we gotta be careful of our ears. They are attached to our face. They're, you know, they're, they need to be well loved too. You can't just like go in there and cleanse them with soap because the, oil, the oils in here build up and we get blackheads in our ears. And if you're using a bar soap, that offsets your pH in there. And usually when people are using bar soap in their ears, I notice that they always have a lot of blackheads. And me as an esthetician, I have to go in there and remove those blackheads. So I love this to use to cleanse my ears. You know, it helps break up that oil that gets in there and remove some of the, you know, the buildup, the blackheads in there. I also have been using my Neogenesis cleanser in my ears too. When I get a gel cleanser that I don't like for my facial skin, I'll demote it to using it as an ear cleanser, by the way. Um, I prefer like a gel cleanser, something that kind of gets a little bit foamy to really get in there and clean the ears. I don't use bar soap or anything like that. So just keep that in mind for those of you who get a cleanser, a facial cleanser that you don't like. If it's a gel cleanser, use it on your ears. <laughs> so I just thought I would bring that up because I don't hear anybody talk about that and our ears need love too. Another product I recommend that you could start out with from Botnia is their Soothing Repair Mask. I love this mask. Last night, I used this after my dermatist treatment, but I've used it as a conductive gel for microcurrent. Now, it works well like that too, but it's not something I would recommend that you do all the time. But the beauty about this is I could have, I left it on after my treatment and I just applied my moisturizer after. So this can be an alternative to you, for you to use for your microcurrent if you wanted to. But this just really soothes and hydrates my skin after an aggressive exfoliation. If I want to hydrate my skin before my microcurrent treatment, I'll just throw this on. And the beauty of it is I can just leave it on and just use like a conductive mist to spray over it to reactivate it. So very, very nice. Um, <clears throat> now, I discovered two new products from Botnia. Um, well, they're not... I mean, they're new, but I discovered a lot of new products this month for, or the month of April for from Botnia, and that is their powdered mask. So the, I have the Kale Yeah here. 
And this is a uh, mass that is great for, the benefits for this one is antioxidant powerhouse kill, tightens the skin and reduces inflammation. Oats soothe and bind moisture to the skin and chamomile reduces redness and calms any irritation. So that's what this one is for. And then I got the flower power, which this one is packed with powerful plant compounds and minerals, soothing colloidal oatmeal, proteins bind moisture, chamomile calms and reduces redness with anti-inflammatory properties and rosehip powder brightens this trio of powders treats uneven skin tone and texture. So I love both of them. Now I will tell you that this one is a little bit of a thicker powder than the Kale yeah, but I absolutely love both of them, what they do for my skin. I love mixing these with the essential enzymes. However, you can choose your mixing medium of choice. You can use a hydrosol, you can use um, honey, you can use yogurt, you can use water or the essential enzymes, but I love these masks and I'm a big fan of powder masks because they tend to last longer versus like a mask that's already mixed up for you, but I love those too. But yes, these are so good. So I highly recommend them. Pretty affordable too. And that is it for my favorites guys. So as I, oh no, no, I have devices. <laughs> So as you guys know, I have been testing the Medicube Glow Booster H. It's become a favorite device. Now I use this in the evening to penetrate my serums into the skin and I absolutely still love it. Love, love, love. I love that I don't have to use a conductive gel with this. I can just use a mist and work my serums into the skin. And you can also use it over your moisturizer too. So. I'm still using it. I don't see myself going back to my um, Osmosis Epic Skin Tool because I like this better for my skin. I see more of a difference with this versus the Epic Skin Tool. So that's been a love. And of course, if you've been following along with my Spring Reset series, you know I love my Pico Toner. Oh my God. I cannot tell you how much I love my Pico Toner. I'm so over the moon happy that I finally have it and picked it up. This has just been amazing. I love to use it with the Jane Man on my lift. Now, last night I did my Dermadis treatment. And normally I'll do my microcurrent before my Dermadis treatment because sometimes when I um, exfoliate my skin, or um, shape my face, which is another form of exfoliation besides removing my facial hair, is that my skin, you know, sometimes feels really irritated after. And if I go in with microcurrent, you know, sometimes it gets a little bit too stingy. So last night I used my Pico toner with the Jane Man Lift on the program two which works on building um, density back into the skin, lymphatic drainage, helps stimulate cellular metabolism, then you know that ATP cellular energy. It also helps with skin radiance. And I used it last night doing some lymphatic drainage moves on my skin um, to not only move stagnant fluid out, but also to get the microcurrent on my skin because microcurrent regenerates those cells and it's wound healing. And I'm so glad I did because normally after the next day, after I do my dermatist treatment or I shave my face, my skin looks, you know, great. Like it's not red, doesn't look irritated, but it is really sensitive. And some skincare products that I put on after can really make, um, cause like a stinging and a burning sensation especially like my um, SPF. And I didn't have that this morning. It's like my skin was completely healed overnight and I had no issues. And then, you know, I do have the Rose Ink um, tinted serum on my skin, but as you guys can see, like my skin just looks really, really good. So I really love the Pinko Toner, guys. It is my favorite device out of all my devices in my collection. I love to use it with the Jane Man Lift because the Jane Man Lift takes the thinking out of your microcurrent. It's so easy to use. So 
love, love, love. And I love that I can use this on my body. I can use it on my chest and I can use it over my thyroid area. I've seen such an improvement in my skin overall, but right here in this skin on my um, thyroid area, down the center of my neck, since I've been using this, the texture and the tone and the firmness and the, um, the firmness has really gotten a lot better as you guys can see. But this is like unlike any device that I have in my collection. And I have a friend that picked one up and she started using it. She messaged me after her first treatment and she was just like, wowza. <laughs> she goes, I can't believe my skin. She loves it as just as much as I do. And yeah, this I am so over the moon happy with. I love that you can use it on your body and start working on those arms, those legs. Oh, it's so, so good. Um, so my fails are, one of them is not here. I'll put a picture up right here. But during the Sephora cell, I picked up the Kosas Dream Beam SPF 40. So online, I couldn't tell if this was a really luminous formula or if it was just tinted and had a little bit of luminosity to it. So it arrived, I tested it, and it was way too luminous and it's more of a makeup primer. And I was looking for something that would be more of an, a, a true SPF. Now, if I put the rec a recommended amount um, you know, on my skin to fully use it as a sunscreen, I would look like a big, huge, greasy do, um, disco ball, okay? So I returned it. I didn't really like that. It was way too luminous. I put it on my makeup underneath it. It was just like too uh, luminous. I just, I did not like it for my skin. I don't like that product. And if you do get it, I would recommend that just keep in mind, it's more like a makeup primer and you definitely have to wear SPF underneath it, okay? That cannot be your sole SPF. For me personally, I like to wear my SPF under my foundation and how I reapply it is by using one of those mineral powder sunscreens. That's my favorite way to reapply it. I don't like layering two different SPFs um, right on top of each other if I don't have to. It's just like sometimes for me, like I'm really sensitive to SPF and the formulations don't jive well and my skin gets really uh, irritated dry and dehydrated. So I just want to, you know, stick with one screen, sunscreen underneath my foundation, use the mineral powders to touch it up. Now, if I don't, um, if I'm not wearing foundation, I'll just reapply my main sunscreen every couple of hours as needed. So another fail that I have, which is very unfortunate because this used to be my favorite concealer. And what I just noticed about the Ilia formulation is that it just oxidizes way too fast. So I have been using this for what, I think a month and a half now, maybe a little, yeah, a month and a half. And I noticed like within two weeks, the formula started to oxidize and then it just keep, kept getting darker and darker. So this shade that I have right here was to use underneath my eyes and it just oxidized so much that it became way too dark and it looks funny. Now here's the thing when these companies put skincare ingredients in their makeup, I wish they would refrain from putting vitamin C because vitamin C has a tendency to oxidize, especially in something like this where you use it a lot, it's exposed to air a lot, it's definitely gonna oxidize and change the color formulation. Now, where it wouldn't probably change color is if it was in a pump. So please don't put it in the concealer. Like this didn't even last me that long. It's, and you know, it's not cheap either. So I will no longer be purchasing the Ilia True Skin Serum Concealer unless they take the vitamin C out. Now, I really love that LYS. It's actually a better formulation than the Ilia. So just so you guys know. Now, that is it for my um, fails. I told you I didn't have that much this month, but I wanted to let you guys know 
I have this week and I will be finishing up my aura lift treatment next week. We're going to do those comparison pictures. Um, so look forward to that. Um, yeah, so I'm, I'm going to miss using my aura lift. <laughs> so I'll be um, finishing up with this. Now I did start this in January and the reason why I extended it because I missed like a whole almost two weeks because I lost my purple device and I had to order a new one. So I had to extend my treatment time to make up for the time that I wasn't able to wear the Aura Lift. So stay tuned for that. I hope that you guys love this video. If you did, make sure you give it a thumbs up because when you like my videos, it really helps my channel, okay? And um, I will see you in the next one. If you guys like to follow along with me in my skincare routine and my journey, I, you know, pop on the spring reset series and share my device routine, my skincare routine with you. I do it in real time. The videos are longer there and I do it to help you guys out so you can really see what I'm using on my skin and how I use it. Um, also, you know, I'm able to be candid there. We can talk about things. I fill you in, you know, on things that are going on in my personal life that I'm struggling with. Um, it's just like we're sitting down, you know, and, you know, talking about skincare and just having a night of fun. <laughs> so I would love to see you there if it resonates with you. And if not, oh well. <laughs> All right, everyone. I hope that you have a wonderful week. And I will see you in the next one. I'm sending you all so much love and light. Bye. Mwah, mwah, mwah. Bye. Hey now, take a step outside and seize the day.